Hello, everybody. It's March 5th, 2024. Actually, a nice day outside, too. Um, and today we're going to look at a little stationary pack that I picked up recently. And I picked it up for, I guess, inventory purposes. And I'll get back to that in a minute. Anyway, I went down to the bookmark here in Charlottetown. Uh, and I was looking for a binder. Uh, and what I picked up is this Kurufit. Kurufit? Kuru. Kurufit. Um, and it's a loose leaf papers. It's a loose leaf set, uh, $15 with HST. So it wasn't too cheap. It wasn't too expensive. Um, didn't want, I, I, I could have bought a cheap binder somewhere, but I don't like the look of binders sometimes. And I thought this looked rather neat and it had really nice stationery in it. So win. So open it up and see what we got. As you can see, there's this um, little binder, just a soft plastic cover. Um, this is cherry red, apparently, from what I've read online. And it's Mario Man loose leaf, so made in Japan. Mario Man. Um, actually, I have this little notebook that I use all, all the time from Mario Man, and I really really becoming a, a fan um, of this paper. It's very nice to work with. I use this for um, notes. <laughs> Believe it or not, I do keep notes for videos. So uh, yeah, I did a um, little search online, found out some history. Um, so when you go to Mario Man Japan, um, actually that that's a, something that helps you find their actual website. You look up Mario Man and you go to all kinds of different uh, retail outlets and Amazon and stuff like that. But Mario Man Japan will take you to their website. And their mission, their uh, creative mission, is a cr they, they refer to themselves as a creative support company, uh, providing services that enable everyone to be creative. So different. I like it. Anyway, let's take a look at this. So there's the binder. It's just a simple plastic binder. There's a ring uh, clasp in here, and I think you're supposed to pull this down somehow. Oh yeah, there we go. And that opens up. Um, from what I've read, oh, that really opens up. Okay. From what I've read online, oh yeah, and it closes up nice too. Yeah, that's cool. Look at that, it's hinged. I didn't know that. Cool. Anyway, um, so, what I've read online, uh, this notebook will hold up, 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 up to, and I like this part, about, up to about 60 sheets. Maybe 60 sheets, maybe not 60 sheets. Yeah, cool. All right. Uh, the paper weight is 80 grams per square meter. Uh, the, the sheets are B5, and we're just going to take a little look through it here. So what do you get? Um, hair. Um, so this is the front page. You can put your, there's just a very faint line there. I guess you can put your name and address and stuff like that. And then you open it up and it's lined paper. It's hard to see here. And at the top, there's uh, a space for, it says number. You can, whatever, page number one, date. You can put headings on it and then you can write your information. That's quite nice. And I think, oh, there's just a little information booklet in the back. Um, Mario Man, I believe the bookmark gets this direct from Japan. I don't know if there's a Canadian supplier. And I, if they do get it directly from Japan, I'm going to say thank you for going to the effort of searching out quality stationery and bringing, bringing, bringing it to us here in Charlottetown. Um, we're really spoiled. Uh, if you're ever around, drop by the store. I'm in no way affiliated with the store. They don't pay me for this, but I am a friend of the store. Yeah. <laughs> I am, if you live in Charlottetown and you are familiar with what I'm talking about, um, it's a very lovely thing to have, uh, a great bookstore. Support your local bookstore. Okay. So what else is in here? Extra sheets of paper. Um, pretty much the same. Japanese text on it. I don't know what it says. Probably some information um, and things like that. And then there's these little, what are these? Little to-do list uh, sheets. Let's take a look at these. 
And I actually, this is what caught my eye. Um, they do sell the binder on its own, and it comes with the paper that's in it, of course, but then they have these little sets. And this is kind of what caught my eye, and I thought this might actually be helpful for what I'm planning on doing. I don't know yet. I'm going to take a look, and I'll tell you what I'm planning to do in a minute. Oh, okay. Actually, that's really cool. So there's these little sheets inside um, that you can put in the binder, and it, I guess it, you could use it. It's a very interesting feeling. It's hard to tell you how that feels. It almost feels like mylamar mylamar paper or a very it feels very plasticky but anyway so there's sort of a lined grid pattern there's like little squares on one side broader lines here i don't know if you can see that at all you know punch holes for your binder and on the back there's a grid pattern uh just line grid pattern and i'm going to use make use of these uh so what do i need this for <laughs> Uh, I'm going to use this for an inventory. I have to, I have all this information stored in various different so locations and in my head is probably where most of it is for an art collection. Um, I'm an artist. I've been an artist all my life. And over the years, I've traded art with friends and I've bought art from friends and i've been gifted art from friends and i've gifted art back and i have accumulated a nice well a pile of art <laughs> and we had, we have a lot of it on our walls but i've never kept a formal inventory of what we have like it's just sort of and i'm i you know if you go through my journals you might find references to some of the stuff we have and a lot of the stuff I know what it is because I'm very familiar with it and it's all in my head and um, that's a problem so I think what I'm going to try to do is take a photo of a lot of things start with the stuff that's on the wall and get some artist biographies together just about who it is where I got the artwork um, estimate of value things like that just to have you know because sometimes people are asking me things and it's like, oh, well, I got this, you know, and I, I, there's a lot of the, a lot of the stuff I know exactly when I got it. And then there's a lot of stuff I'm trying to think, when did I get that? How did I come across that? And the other thing I do, uh, not related to colleagues or friends or anything like that in the art world and in, in small PEI, the other thing I do is I'm a big thrift store fan I, I i like hanging out in thrift stores <laughs> and so you know as i i find good things that are i can use clothing uh things like that um but one of the things i really enjoy hunting for is artwork and i've put together a rather strange little collection of found pieces uh all of its original um some of it, I don't have much information about it because it's not signed or the signature is illegible. And, uh, you know, I just have a rough idea of what the medium medium is. And I can, so I'll, I'll, I'll do a little inventory and I'll try to put down the history of what I, what I have. But then there's a lot of stuff that actually, because uh, it's clearly signed, I go online and I'm able to find the artist and I'm able to find a biography. So I'm going to start, going back and printing off a lot of that stuff and put it in, putting it in the binder and just recording things. And that is my intention. Kind of, it'll be fun. And a lot of the stuff I put in is already sort of written down somewhere in the, in the uh, depths of my notebooks or journals. And sometimes it's just on scraps of paper, but let's do a little, Paper writing. Let, let's let's try this paper out. Okay, I'm just going to go pick a sheet. I don't have to worry about it because I have extra sheets. It feels very nice, very smooth. It's a, obviously a coated paper. Um, I'm just going to use this little sailor that I have. And I believe it's just got a sailor cartridge in it. Hopefully, it writes. <laughs> so.
quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Hmm. Very fountain pen friendly so far. This is a fine nib on this little sailor pocket pen. Hmm. That looks good. Very nice paper to write on. And I'm just going to do a little, I'm just going to do a little ink splat if I can open this. And I can. Yay. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just going to see if this bleeds through. And I'm guessing it might. I'm going to pull a lot down. California teal. A real nice uh, Monte Verde California teal, I should say. Very nice ink, actually. Quite like it. But I have noticed it sometimes, especially if I put a lot down on the page, it sometimes goes through paper. And we'll see how it looks. Actually, that's very good. Hasn't bled. Well, starting to bleed through a bit. Yeah. We'll see in a minute how it holds up. It's good. I put a lot down. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That's really good. It hasn't really come through. I can see a little bit starting to come through. I put a lot down. Uh, anyway. So anyway, it's very nice to write with. Sort of an off-white, creamy color. And I think it's going to do the task. I'm going to um, write notes down. Just, met, you know, things I remember about where I picked up the picture. I'll take a photograph. I'll put it in here. I might... I'm not too sure what I'm going to use these for extra information that I come across, tech, uh, sp specifics about the painting, things like that. I'll put it in there. And as I said, um, I don't know what I said. <laughs> anyway, and as I said, I like this little, I, I, you know, it, it's a nice looking little binder. Um, it's going to serve my purpose. Um, I didn't want a huge chunky binder, right? And I know that I will quickly run out of space in this, so I'll pick up another one when, it, when the time comes. And I'll just try to keep better track of the things that I do, <laughs> if that makes any sense. But anyway, I hope you don't mind me rambling on. It's just a fun little uh, product that I came across, and I was really happy to pick it up. And I'm going to use it to I'm gonna put it to good use. And if you tried this before, these products, let me know how you feel about them. Uh, if you like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. And I do invite you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And also, check out some of the older videos. Um, that always helps the channel, too. I'm, I'm rambling on about things I don't really know a lot about. I don't know a lot about stationery or fountain pens. But I love the hobby. And I, if you like the video, like I said, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Anyway, have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.